Good evening, and welcome to 2020, when our friend Jessica Helfen told us that in the 27 years we've been on the air, 2020 had never done a story on graphic design. We were amazed. How could we have allowed this to happen? Here at 2020, we've looked at global warming, cut-rate plastic surgery, everything from gambling to free speech. How could we ignore something so critical to every American's well-being? And especially something as important as graphic design, which, frankly, is all about gambling and free speech. We decided to do something about it right away. So tonight, in a controversial report, we'd like to take 43 seconds of your time and share with you the three most common design mistakes Americans make. Number one, never use this typeface. Number two, if your name is Peretz Rosenbaum, make sure to change it to Paul Rand. And the networks will pay you a lot of money to design their logos. Three, if you don't know who Paul Rand is, well, basically, you're screwed. Thank you. Without the aesthetic means that it's not done with love, but it's done for some, for some ulterior motive. Because it sells, because it's popular, because it's crazy, you know, all this stuff. Graphic design is one of those phrases that doesn't mean anything. Because anything that's graphic is graphic. Painting or dancing, if you see it. Writing, if you see it, it's graphic. The genre of art, of, of, of graphic design, of painting, is art. That's the genre. It's all art. The vocabulary or the language of art or of aesthetics. Order, variety, contrast, symmetry, tension, balance, scale, texture, space, shape, light, shade, and color. This is the language of form. Don't try to be original, just try to be good. That sounds uh, uh, sort of naive, but it's true. Without aesthetics, you can't find the truth to do things with quality. I think this is, in a big sense, what aesthetics means. Art is an idea that has found its perfect form. There are too many possibilities. No matter how perfectly you do something, it can still be improved. 